Do you hit record? I don't think it's any of you freaking Ben. Okay, so we do have beef, bitch. Hey, this Whose podcast hey, is this? Hey, hey, huh? Hey, this ain't a salad, man. Huh? We got beef in this shit. Huh? You chicken? Huh? That's a chicken salad. It's ours. Sorry, I didn't answer your question. But we beefing, dude? We chicken? Hey. We beefing? Kiss me. <laughs> We have even no more because we are hot together. Hot for each other. <laughs> hey, welcome into the Really Random Podcast. I'm Colton Petty John. That's Drew Bolden. I can't see a damn thing. Oh gosh, where are you looking? I don't know. <laughs> I'm blind. I'm blind. Um, this was my own doing, though, because I, I'm just not going to wear contacts today, Colton. Yeah, hopefully you know where I am right here and the camera's right there. Colton, figure it out. I can't. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask a question. First of all, Mom. Genevieve. Wow. Excuse me. She's hot. Um, oh, my. Mimi, go, Grammy, all the lovely grandmothers out there. Happy Grandmother's Day. Is there a thing? Whatever. Know. It is now. Um, don't listen to this because um, we were serious for a little while and now we're letting it all out. Yep, we are. Because we can't be too serious for too long. <laughs> we're streaking down a football field. We're showing everybody what we've got. Have you always, have you ever wanted to do that, by the way? No. You. That would was. be. It, no, it, it would be pleasurable for no one. No one would enjoy that. Hold on. No hey. one would have fun with that. They'd be like. Hey. Oh, this is just sad. <laughs> Stop generalizing, everybody. I would thoroughly enjoy that. Because you know why? Why? Because it would get us some clout somewhere or get us some sort of, you know, people would see us. What is that called? It would get us... Uh, recognition help. eyes. Not recognition uh, eyes, clout, I think, is fine. Um, clout, I said that. That's not right. Um, views. <laughs> exposure! Exposure. Because you are Cause exposing your ear. Your okay. airy track infection. How... Oh. Okay, how sad is it Very. that... Um, I am so proud of myself for going two weeks without drinking. Does that make me an alcoholic? That is also not true. <laughs> it is true. I had, okay. I had two beers on, um, last Saturday okay. because I was at a party and oh, so that makes by it the okay. way, no, no, okay. no, no. I didn't get drunk. The The purpose of this cleanse was to not get drunk. I had two beers. The only reason why I had those beers is I was hanging out with people that wouldn't let it oh, go. Yeah. And I have a beef with that. If someone's trying to do something to better themselves, whether or not it's eat better, uh, run, stop drinking, slow down or whatever, uh, respect that. Don't make them feel because you're at a party or you're out to dinner at a steak uh, restaurant or a house or whatever, uh, that that person needs to not order a salad and they need to order a steak if yeah. they're trying to eat better. Mm -hmm. So I get it. Everyone wants to have a good time. But yeah. I had just a great time being completely sober at both of the parties that I went to um, last weekend. I had a whole lot of fun. So... Don't be one of those people that drags people down. I, I don't. Do you yeah. hate it when um, you're in a situation where uh, someone's trying to get you to do something? Oh yeah, I and, hate it so yeah. much. And they're like, "Oh, come on, come on, come on, yeah. come on." You're like, "No, no, 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 f off, f off, f off." We've been in situations before where, um, <laughs> like, even and it's not even like a bad thing, but like peer like, pressure in general is like, "Shut up." Yeah, if I don't want to do it. Then I'm not going to do it. But like, Greg, there have been a couple of times where Greg wants you to do something, and I'm like, Dude, "Oh, hey, me? leave him alone." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Drew doesn't want to do it, and yeah. you're just going to piss him off. Yeah. I hate are, it. I hate it father? when I I hate it when I see other people getting yes. persuaded or, or trying to get persuaded or peer pressured and stuff. I'm like, dude, hey, leave him alone, dude. If he doesn't want to do it, you, go, you know, whatever. You, <laughs> whatever. You like seeing that though. Seeing what? You like seeing people persuaded. No, I, I don't. Yes, like peer you pressure. do, dude. You love it. Hey, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd catch on. Hey, and also before we get back into uh, talking about how bad people are, uh, do you see what we're wearing? Oh uh, yeah, because. I don't know. Hey, Colton, how do you spell goat? Uh, L D U K A. A. And because I don't know how to spell Donchus. It's D O N C I C. D O. But there's little tildes and, you know, accents. He, he's the Don. Look at the Don. 
Luca the Don John Doncic? You think that's, that's is what, it? Is uh, it Doncic? Donkic? Donchik? Donchik. Donchik. I guess Don, it's like Don the same Chich. with Dirk Nowitz. People say Nowitzki and Nowitzki. Nowitzki. If you don't know what we're talking about, it's sports. And I know no one gives a shit about sports here. But Meredith. Yes. Thank you so much uh, for Meredith. sitting in us. We're, we're right here. Look Meredith, at us. We're over here. I'm over uh, here. Look at Actually, I was the reason direct. why I went no eyes or no contacts and glasses was because I was being Meredith. <laughs> your, but your eyes look in the same Oh, they're, they don't. Um, there's no <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Yeah, but she she just sent us these and said, "Hey, if you don't wear these, I'm never listening and sharing your podcast again." So it looks like we have to wear it. Have to so, wear it. I love them. Thank yeah, you. If you if you want to send us stuff to wear, that would be great. Our um, what is where do, where do we live? What city? Texas. Okay, and what's our like exact physical address? No, 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 no. I don't like believe that out. I have, to, I have to believe out the f word like three times. But guys, um, so this one is following a serious episode. Yeah. So. We, since we're mature adults, somewhat, uh, to, to the some points, um, we just like to get our feelings out there. Like, look, this, instead of having to pay for therapists ding, ther, what is it? Jeez. I, therapissing. Yeah. Yeah. Thera, instead of a, getting a therapist Pissing to piss on, on me, thera- therapeutic pillow. Um, <laughs> this is what we do to therapeutic Therapeutic pissing. Is that a thing? <laughs> Dude. Uh, hey, rule 34. Relax. Oh, if I thought it's it was, a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, if it if it exists, there's porn about it. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is definitely it, porn on that. Oh, for sure. So can we pause this and it? look? Well, you watched it? Did you? Did you? Was it a self? <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. Squidward. Squidward fork. Uh, was it a home video or selfie video? We don't have to talk about that. So <laughs> what were you sexiest saying? Sexiest home videos? I have no idea. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, that's Colton Petty John. <laughs> uh, we did that last uh, last episode. We can't keep doing the same joke. But over no, over. I'm just going to. What do you I, I want to. No, you can't. You edit- You're sober. No, I'm not going to put that in there. No, quit. No, I know. I'm, like- I'm making you have this episode this edit or edit. I'm drunk, dude. But you're not because you. So pat me on the back because I'm two weeks sober. You're it doesn't doing matter. It. I'll, I'll probably start drinking like next week. I'm going to get you one but of those. But I just needed a, a re- reset, restart. I'm going to get you one of those uh, sober. I don't think I have a problem. Coins. I just I just wanted to. Hey. Okay. Hey, <laughs> remember? <laughs> what's the first step, Colton? <laughs> Admitting is... it. Oh. The first step is always the hardest. I thought the first step was drink more. Oh. That If you think be. you have a problem, drink more, more and then you may... <laughs> Forget figure about. out or forget <laughs> forget forget that. that you have a problem <laughs> hey i like that <laughs> that's really good all right hey, so Col- all right so Col- i told colton that he's gonna have to read all these topics off because i don't i didn't want to put in contacts because i ate hot cheetos before and if i put anything <laughs> in my eye it'll hurt <laughs> and i was like no that's why i want you to put on no contacts here open your eyes i'm a, gonna put this hot ass cheeto dust what in a your great eye. episode it would be if you're like <laughs> oh. <laughs> i can't see nothing but also what hey Greatest snack of all time, hot Cheetos. It's up there. Uh, hot fries. Oh, at Andy Cap's Ooh. hot fries. Oh, so mama, I want that in me. That, that those make me howdy. Um, let's see what else. No, no. Well, I was gonna say like Funyuns, but Funyuns I got hot ass Funyuns. Yeah, yeah. And they are hot as hell, but they're good. Uh, but I'm also a big wuss. Yeah, I I I like Funyuns. I like hot Funyuns. I like. All the above. I like um, uh, 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 Don't you jalapeno like... um, Cheetos. Those are. The oh, best. yes. It's like, is there a bad Cheeto? I think puffy Cheetos. Uh, kind I of don't suck. like regular Cheetos. You like your puff and I'm uh, I'm puff. I'm puff puff. Your pass. Dude, I love the puffy Cheetos are disgusting. Shut up. Okay. What? This is a podcast. I'm not going to shut up. Uh, yeah, they're overrated. The regular Cheetos are so much better. They're, they're crunchy. You put them on a PB&J. You put them in the middle and you eat them when you're poor. Yeah. I actually probably would like that. Uh, but, oh, it's, but regular Cheetos by themselves. Gee, no. R- really? Just the regular, yeah. the ones that look like um, no, because Neanderthal like, clubs? Do, do you remember those snack packs where uh, you would get the little... Um, bags of chips? The, individual bags of chicks oh yeah chips and you had the whole <laughs> Wait, do that? you got bags of chips do you chicks do you buy that on wayfair or i told you about prostitution oh pro- i know what it is <laughs> dude i told you about prostitution man <laughs> i told you about it and now they come in little fun size bags oh no no oh sorry. my god <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm on a fun size bag. Hey, uh, so that's <laughs> gonna be cut. Colton, did I tell you about my invention? No. <laughs> I mean, I did because we talked about it earlier. Did but, we? Yeah, uh, my invention of uh, you know little things that you rent. Anyway, so, oh, yeah. so today I was going out to go get business casual clothing because for the next three weeks I have to work in an office. Colton. Sucks, man. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. And remember when I kept walking over the sweats and I was like, these look comfortable. You're like, no. You can't. No. Casual, non-casual stuff. Go business casual. That's and I was your like, usual work uniform, but not for the next three weeks. Yeah. And then I went to the leather pants with holes cut in the crotch and I went, this? And you went. I don't know why I have to tell you no. <laughs> How I'm going earth? to a biker rally. <laughs> <I'd>, uh, <laughs> is that like a gay pride parade biker rally? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, have you not been to those? Come on. <laughs> Acting like, is that what it is? is that, I is, don't know. I don't know. What I mean, we, do we all have fun, get sweaty and, you know, turn down the lights and turn on uh, those uh, glow sticks and make them with glasses and then just, you know, heart throbbing music because that's the only thing that's throbbing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to Really Random. You do you know that we're the same two people as last episode? Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. We're talking about dicks throbbing and stuff. Oh, <laughs> don't put that in there. Sorry. Hey, if instead of you being a teenage heartthrob. Okay, so Drew was. We were on our way back from yeah. getting clothes, mm -hmm. and you take over. Um, <laughs> You came up with a brilliant idea. Never been um, invented before, ever. A great invention. Um, so go ahead and explain okay. what you thought yep. would be a good a business venture. Because honestly, it is a good biz business venture. Thank so. you. Uh, I was going to say um, that if any of you steal this idea, I'm suing you. So I'm going to say we were, So we were driving past apartments. Right? Yeah, we were, we were driving we were past talking apartments. about how we used to live in an apartment together, right? Yeah, we used to live uh, in one with your wife and me and... Ex-wife? Well, at the time, she was your wife, right? Yes. She wasn't your ex-wife yet. Not when you yet. got married, you she wasn't your ex-wife right away? No. How does that work? Uh, I think when she chose to walk out the door and rip my heart into pieces, oh. that's when she became my ex. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Was well, that she, every she day? Didn't, <laughs> oh. Um, anyway, she didn't so, rip my heart into pieces. She just ruined my life. Oh. You know, maybe you should start drinking again. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, we were driving past Apartamentes, and I was like... Dude, Coltese, you remember that time we lived in an apartment? And he goes, yeah, I'd rather not. And I went, why? Oh. No, I actually I loved know. living in an <laughs> apartment. So I no, that, that. It was, I think it's just, well, now that we have a house, I was like, man, I don't really miss leaving an apartment. I just miss, you know, the 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 camaraderie and the, yeah, the fun times. douchebaggishry. Yeah. Uh, that w debauchery, I think, is the word. Yeah. Um, we and just miss, miss Meigs. Yeah, and Meigs, of course. She's pregnant now. We, she has no idea who the mother is. She'll figure it out. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, we had a good time at that apartment, and I we we just drove past someone. I was like, man, I miss that apartment. And I was like, man, wouldn't it be? I was like, oh, dude, I have a great idea. You know what? How about they make these buildings mm -hmm. in every city where you can sleep for the night, and all you have to do is like like just a place for a bed, maybe a little kitchen or something. And and I trailed off, and Colton goes, what, what? And I was like. I just realized I was explaining what a hotel was. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's <laughs> like, dude, they should have them in like every city. There's you a bed in there. Just stay one night yeah, if you want to. Night. You can pay. You can uh, also stay more nights if you want. You can pay for it. Pay um, more. Pay more, more nights or more or less for less nights. Yeah. <laughs> or dark nights. Uh oh, wait. I am the vengeance. What does he say in the new Batman trailer? I am the not. No. I am he says, vengeance. He says I am vengeance in the in the mm -hmm. uh in the Christian Bale voice. He did the. I am vengeance. Yeah, but his sounds better. Oh, okay. I think his team Edward. Hey, I feel you. Yeah, I also am a werewolf fan, but whatever. Hey, so me too. Yeah, so I came up with this really, really, really great invention, and then I realized it was invented already. Yeah. So that's a pain in the ass. Why are things already invented? That's what. That's why <laughs> inventions nowadays are so freaking hard because there's been a like billions of people around. Mm -hmm. So. Chances are, if you have that idea, someone's already had that idea. Mm -hmm. And they probably are less lazy and fat than you. And they went out and they did it. Yep. And I'm just saying in general, you. The general you, not the you being fat uh, and lazy. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. okay, so at first it was about, it was general. And, then, gen and then whenever I'm you saying, said. I'm saying, no, it's not about you being fat and lazy. I'm saying it's the the. You okay, okay, so just, are fat and lazy. Just 
I just want to reiterate, you're saying you wouldn't say that I'm fat and lazy, but... No, I'm not talking about you being fat and lazy right now. But also... I'm not talking about the fact that you're fat and lazy. I don't want to talk about it ever. Okay, we it, won't talk about it. That See, I never make fun of you on this podcast, and you always talk about how fat and lazy I am. I said I'm not going to talk about it. But aren't we talking about We're it? We're talking about it. I think it might be my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, if you ever invent something... Call it, uh, what should I call it? Ooh, maybe I'll call it a motel. You should, you should call it, uh, yeah, I think that's a thing motel? already. As well. What is the difference between a hotel and a motel? Hey, hotel, the ho motel, motel, holiday inn. Inn. How much did he get paid to put that in the song? The holiday inn part? Yeah. Uh, probably not. He probably just had free nights there. Ooh. And weekends. Yeah. I want <laughs> <laughs> TXT energy. Uh, no, hey, how much do you think um, Gwen Stefani got paid meant us d doing bananas the banana song it's bananas, well, it's, bananas. she didn't say she was like go ch uh ch <laughs> chiquita chiquita there you go chiquita chiquita <laughs> what did she no. like say <laughs> It's bananas. Vegan. V a n a n a. Dolls. <laughs> Dolls. <laughs> Chiquitas. No, like I was thinking of uh uh dang it organic like she was just got like different types plantains. I almost said platoon. Anyway, uh, what what does what does the rest of these say? All right, we remember. have. Uh, did you want to go into the everyone has a different version of you? Yeah. So I mean, I know we talked about it a little bit on <clears throat> two pods ago, but. Uh, this one's, I mean, this one's a little more serious. We can talk about it being um, um, silly, but I, uh, no, we definitely hit on this for a good while. But anyway, I still want to talk about it again. So okay. there was this, um, I was on the, I was on the internet, mm -hmm. Facebook, I think either Facebook or Reddit, if you guys have heard of those. And I remember reading this post that said, um, think about everyone you've ever met in your entire life. Now, do you have your own opinion on them? Of course you do, right? Mm -hmm. Even if you talk to someone once or a thousand times, you have an opinion on uh, each certain... Uh, as soon as you meet someone, you form an opinion, right? Like they always say a first impression is the whatever yeah. the hell it is. Yeah. And most important to Um, And I've met you a thousand bajillion times. Not met. I, is it considered met meeting again? No. no, meeting is just the first time you... Yeah, I think so. Well, I don't know. Each other hey, we're going to meet up. At oh, the that's spot. True. That's true. Oh, that sounds like you're hey, meeting someone at a hotel. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna meet up at the spot. We'll do the we'll do the deal on the low, and then we'll head our separate ways. Okay, so you buy me Chick Fil A and meet me somewhere halfway, so I don't have to go all the way. Yeah, I'll give you uh, the secret sauce. So, hey, all right, <laughs> that's all I wanted. That's ever. when you get Chick Fil A sauce, and then you 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 put, put it barbecue. together with the uh, ketchup. No. Oh, I don't know. Really? I've never done that. I'm actually just making shit up as I go. That sounds delicious. Chick-fil-A sauce. Well, Chick-fil-A sauce by itself is good with anything. Did you know you can buy it in little tubs? Of course, you know that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why are you squinting? You can't. You can see just fine. Uh, I mean, <laughs> no, uh, I thought you were going to say, oh, speaking of tubs or something, because <laughs> I said in little tubs. I wouldn't. No. You just said. <laughs> no. What, did you, what was that, that. implication? That. Oh, uh, hey, nice new headband, you stupid ass. I'll be there for Drew. you. When the rains are to pour, actually, thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. Uh, I really like, uh, dude, headbands. I don't pull them off as well as you, and I also damn right. think it's uh, interesting wearing them in public. Uh, oh yeah, you I wore feel it today, like a child. Oh. But I, I like the youthfulness that it brings me. So you know what? I like this one. I have one more friends one that I'll wear in an, an, an episode at a further date, whatever. Oh yeah, didn't you wear the friends one last time? The regular friends one, and then this one has like a bunch of different little uh, snippets from, or, or kind of like a inside Easter jokes. eggs, yeah, inside jokes from nice. the episode. So, but we can all agree that Friends is like overrated, no. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Luka Doncic loves Friends. Who is that? No one knows who that is. <laughs> You're wearing a shirt. Damn it! Doesn't mean you I know who he is. Winch. <laughs> Luka Doncic. You uh, winch. So are we going to be serious? About? Yeah, or? yeah, we can't be. So basically, uh, the reason why I wanted to talk about it. I want to be silly. Okay. Well, well, we, we'll, we'll, we'll speed yeah, yeah. through it. So uh, yeah. the reason why I want to talk about it is because I never, I love when things are brought to my attention that I would never have thought about before. Yeah. Especially something like that, because I like to grow my brain. You know, I want to get more perspective. Ripples. Yeah. Get, yeah. A different perspective. Want to ripple my brain, not nipple my brain. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to keep going. So. Uh, I remember thinking like, 
I know who I am. You know who you are. I think that I am funny. I am silly. I don't take things too seriously when I don't need to be, but I can be a um, decent human being at times. I'm a good listener. I'm a good um, uh, talker. I like to 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 um, uh, stumble over words quite often. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's right just after who... you say you're a good talker. Yep. I know that was the joke. Here we go. Um, what? <laughs> Never mind. That was good. Uh, and so anyway, I have my own perception yeah. of myself. I have my own perception of what I think Colton is. I know that he is a hard worker. He's can, he's very mature. He will go after what he wants, um, even if it can be. Um, <laughs> even, I was going to be mean, but I didn't. I didn't. I was, to. I was about to say I can he, just he's like, go ahead. Just he's go. Uh, he's a complete asshole to me all the time. Um, he has no sense of direction. I don't know. I'm just making things up now. No, Colton mm-hmm. is a great friend. He's a good listener. He's a mature adult. He gets things done when he needs to. He likes to have a silly goose time. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Right? So I have these things in my own head about Colton. Now, you. Mm -hmm. Point with me, Colton. You. You. What do you think that Colton is? Now, I know you're going to write douchebag, but put that one aside for now. You can put that last. But then, huh? (laughs) Asking that question is curious. I know. Notice I didn't ask what they thought about me. (laughs) But uh, yeah, I want want everyone to write in the comments what they think uh, Colton is about. I know. (laughs) That was really where I was trying to get to, but but I wanted to be serious. So... But yeah, just think about it. That's kind of what we talked a little bit on, you know, not last episode, but the one before. Like, the perception, like, do people see me the way that I see me? And I know they don't always. There are some things that maybe some people see and others don't. But it's really interesting um, when you think about... It's a little brain nugget, you know? Yeah, when you think about the people that have only met you once or twice, Mm -hmm. and they may have met you in a circumstance where you weren't in a great part of your life or you weren't in a great moment or maybe you were um you know hey uh maybe you were drunk and you were a little upset and angry like i know when sometimes when i drink a little too much and we play beer pong and i get frustrated or upset about something like if someone met me and that's all they knew of me they'd be like this guy is a douche this guy i can't stand this guy so like I think that makes me want to be, to strive to be who I want to be and who I want people to see me to be daily on a every single day basis because I never know uh, when I'm going to give off that impression. Who, Yeah, like who's drawing who's different gonna, opinions and yeah. if it's going to be someone important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know that I annoy people. I absolutely understand that that is a thing that I do to people, right? Yeah. But guess what? I don't care. Well, if you don't care, then that's that's totally <laughs> I think, fine. I think that's thank you. You know, I, what? I care when I piss people off or annoy people. Oh, um, I think I think it. I only give a shit if it's someone I know that I'm either. Well, especially with women, if it's someone that I'm interested in or am pursuing, at that point, I'm gonna tone down the uh, the Drew a little bit, right? Because well, if I give that- them the full Drew. What was it? It's not. They're going to run away. There was one time in college where we were at uh, oh, Whataburger no, and a no. friend said. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but no. You would. Uh, <laughs> you would. Not a friend. It was a female that I was yeah. very interested in. And at this at this point in my life, I knew like, well, actually, I didn't. I was kind of I wasn't self-aware at this point, but she I was very into her and she was uh, like a year or two older than me. Um and she was very mature, which is weird, which is wh- like why I was into her. Maybe because yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm getting older. I'm 21. <laughs> yeah. I need older and more mature women. She has a beautiful smile, um, a nice face. She has a nice career now. I still talk to her daily. Actually, not daily. I do talk to her every once in a while. Uh, but <laughs> go ahead. Go no, on. what she say? Oh, me? Well, so you guys know, Colton, you know, uh, and you guys know that sometimes... Every, occasionally i like to talk too much now oh occasionally shit. yes really? me yeah yeah weird and she told to me said me told said to me mm-hmm. you know what you would be a lot cuter if you shut your mouth and i was right there i was like oh. <laughs> and i was like damn dude and honestly i've 
I hardly ever get my feelings hurt or get upset or embarrassed. And in that moment, it was all of those. <laughs> I was, like, oh, I, sh- I think it was one of those, like, so she said, so say the thing. I was like, ah, but, ah, but, ah, penis balls, dick fart. Poop. You know, you would be cuter yes. if you okay, shut your mouth. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and that i was know a fun moment and i remember I like, uh, yeah and i remember you going i i feel like i heard like oh because <laughs> like, you were because you were with another okay. friend of ours and y'all both were just like oh geez and i think her well her friend uh, uh, so well, there's four of us it was me colt easy girl and girl and other girl uh was better friends with this girl that i would thought was attractive and she was like Hey, what was that? Be nice, be sweet, or something. And I was like, no, I didn't say anything. anything. I was just like, I was like, yeah, whatever. (laughs) She's just some bitch. And I went home and I was like, (laughs) God! Yeah. But I have nothing else other than my, well, I say, I feel like I can be quite lucky charming sometimes. So whenever I hit, I hit a girl with something, I'm like, what's up? What's up, girl? You don't look as fat as that other girl over there. Or whatever nice. you're supposed to say to hit him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you want to come home with me and watch? Share my twin bed and watch Community with me? Yeah, I've yeah. never seen it. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like that's all I have sometimes. And so I do, when I get a little bit nervous, I start to ramble, as you can tell on this podcast. But hey, you know what? I learned from it. I growed from it. Yeah. And here I am. There you go. Come on in, babe. Yeah, no, she's not ever coming back uh so damn it we have a m- array of stories that we could talk about oh. uh not necessarily stories we have an array of uh, subjects and and stuff so what do you want to start with we have so much um i i know I you can't see but i have an idea we talked about some this, of the things yeah yeah because i uh yeah I, I just typed them in again but uh i want to save yours for last okay which is very good some of you people will think the complete opposite of Colton. I know you all think that he's a loser and a delinquent and no one likes him and he has no friends and he's sitting over there and being like, oh, what was me? Nobody really likes me. Yeah. Um, oh, hey. No, those, those are oh, all I just, things. What I meant was I didn't see you there. Uh, okay. <laughs> but this, oh, mama. I honestly didn't think you would want to tell this story on. But uh, let's just, Part of my past, let's just say Shorty got them apple bottom jeans. I almost said wings. And then that's a little bit teaser for that. But um, I want to bring up the fact that I, you know what? The first story I talked about when I had lady problems, that wasn't the first time. Now, I know you're, I know you're, you don't, you think that I'm the biggest lady killer of the smoothest tongue. Mm-hmm. Clearly just now I gives a big advantage of that. <laughs> it was a big, What's uh, going on? I think Are I just okay? had a stroke. No, I, I meant to say uh, it was a, uh, whatever, a big example of that is okay. what I was trying to say. But I thought saying other things that w- didn't make sense would be funnier and they weren't. Okay. Uh, <laughs> see, this is why uh, I'm hot. No. So I had a problem uh, with a lady before other than the time I just talked about. Okay. Was this back in college? This was either right after high school. I think it was right after high school. So like, doesn't whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, it was like around the time I was either going to college or skipping school. Yeah. And uh, there was this female that I always thought was cute. Yeah. Sometimes I think that girls are cute. Um, and I was like, hey, uh, we should hang out sometime. Do I know who this person is? Yes, you do. I'll tell you later, okay, but I'm not cool. going to out her. But That's fine. let's That's just fine. say I'm going to make up a name. Let's just say her name was Gabby. Okay. <laughs> and uh, oh. let's just say the other friend that I was with, I'm going to make him another name, uh, Josh. Okay. So uh, we were hanging out and uh, my friend Josh, not his real name, was a very good musician. Oh. Um, and uh, he really liked Aaron Carter. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, he was a very big Josh was a very big Carter fan. So uh, me and my friend Josh, the Carter fan, were hanging out. And his mother, who was from England, not even kidding. uh, She had an apartment uh, in like Fort Worth or something. And we all went to hang out. But I was like, or he had a show. He liked to play music. Um, Big Carter fan. And I was like, hey, to this girl, I'm going to a friend's show. Uh, I think her name, what was the name I made up? Gabby? Yeah. The name I made up. Uh, and I said, hey, Gabby, um, would you want to go watch my friend uh, like play music with me? And I always thought I've never been someone that like took 
girls on dates of like a concert or music yeah. or movie. I think it's, I don't know. I think that's a little cheesy or whatever, but Hey, if the gals like cheese, I'm not your man. Um, thank you. Come on, oh. come on, come on me. I thought you were going to say if a girl likes cheese, then good out of here. Then I'm the whiz. <laughs> oh, erd. Right, you know, well, oh, the whiz. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm whiz. I mean, I'll do what. Never mind. Uh, so anyway, this uh, Gabby was her name. Mm -hmm. uh, so I thought that she was way out of my league. Actually, ended up not being true. But hey, here's the thing. <laughs> the only reason I think this is, you'll find out in two seconds when I get. Actually, in fifty minutes when I get to the end of the yeah, story. Yeah, but I think it's. Uh, I think it's good to have that thought. Keep yourself humble. Yeah. 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 And so I, I, di I did think that. And I thought that she liked guys that were, you know, kind what, of a little dark and mysterious and stuff. <laughs> what about her made you think that uh, oh, she was I'll, out of your league? I'll get to that. Okay. Good boy. Good, sir. Uh, I was a good boy. That's a good boy. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so we hang out. Um, and I never, ever did a whatever this is. Uh, uh, facial little, hair. Like, like a goatee. Or... But like just on the chin. The chin yeah. tea. I did that. I never had that. And I shaved it into that because I thought that she would like it. And then when I went and picked her up, I was wearing sunglasses and I never wore sunglasses like ever. And I was trying to be so <laughs> cool, Colton. I had like big old sunglasses yeah. that were fake, a goatee. And I like, you know, like <laughs> I went to the door, got her and like said hi to her family. And I was like, hello, nice to meet you. And, you know, all that good stuff, jazz. And uh, <laughs> I got back to the car and I was like, I already met your family, so <laughs> when am I proposing? Like, I thought that was a smooth line. When am I proposing? Uh, <laughs> but she goes, okay. And I was like, how the f*** did that work? <laughs> oh, wow. So she got really kind of into it, right? Um, and then at that point, I was, you know, trying to be all suave, and I was playing the radio, like, 97.9 The Beat, or, like, <laughs> like, all the rap stations, which I never listened to, because I would listen to Reliant K on repeat. Yeah. And, <laughs> and so we finally make it up to um, where it's, like, a 30-minute drive to the show. And, you know, I start to come out of my shell a little bit, and I am end up being the real me. So I take this off is, the sunglasses, all this stuff. Is this the first time you guys have hung out this, in person? Yeah, this is like one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, I think the other times I it was just like at school or something. Oh, uh, okay. So we, yeah, yeah. we would just like hang out for a little bit at school, yeah. and, you know, whatever. So she she like knew, I this goes back to the perception thing of like what you think someone is or mm -hmm. who you think someone is. And at, like as the night went on, I was like, eh, this is, or not that as the night went on, but as the drive went on, which was like 30 minutes, I was like, this is not who I am. I'm going to be me, whatever. And so I take off the sunglasses and I start being silly. And then it, to me, it looked like she started having a better time. So I was like, okay, well, maybe people do like me. Yeah. Uh, which ended up not being true. But hey, you know what? That's fine. We'll get there together. And uh, <laughs> so we get to the show and we, we start having a good time. Um, she starts drinking a little bit and I didn't drink at the time because I wasn't 21. Um, I don't think she was either. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> hey, remember on the really random podcast, we promote underage drinking. Hey, teen drinking is very bad. Yeah. Isn't that in a song? But I've got a fake ID though. <laughs> no, you don't. No, Do you have, don't. A fake, have you ever had a fake ID? No, I have on accident and I can explain that at some point in later time. <laughs> okay. um, so anyway, we get to the place. She starts drinking a little bit. Uh, she's getting, you know, really friendly and handsy and like yeah. she does the whole. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> and I knew that I was in and I was like, dude, I'm going to kiss her, dude. <laughs> she, she touched dude, my hand. Kiss. I'm going to kiss her, dude. I'm going to be like, hey, uh, Gabby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but also oh god <laughs> look like you were breastfeeding <laughs> oh yeah i wish i could have done that to her uh so then anyway we go on uh later in the night and i guess i i, I forgot a kind of a huge uh detail when the whole car ride over she was talking about what she did what she liked uh -huh. you know like trying to tell me about herself right yeah. but then after three hours of her only talking about herself and not asking me any questions about myself, just trying to, I would, I would do my whole silly thing. Like say you're talking and I'm like, Oh, but also when I make a joke, right, that's what I would do. And it would make her laugh. She's like, ah. so anyway, um, when I was uh, five and I'm like, Oh yeah. my God. So literally the whole time talking about herself, then we get back to my friend's apartment and 
uh, we're all sitting there. She's a little bit not sober at this point. She pulls out her phone and she pulls out her like her Facebook or something. And there's a private um, photo album on her Facebook that like only she can see. Like it's not public. Yeah. And there was over like 5,000 pictures in there. And I was like, oh, are you a photographer? And she's like, no, these are just like selfies that I like that I don't want to keep on my phone. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. And dude, I kid you not, she started at the very first photo and it was like a selfie. She was like, oh, this was uh, this day. And I was (sighs) went to the second photo. It was a selfie, maybe a little bit of a different turn. Did the same thing. Took about like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. And she got like... 10 or 20 or 30 photos in, I think. I think it was like, I think like realistically, maybe 20 at the most. Yeah. And I was like, this girl is not going to stop talking about herself. And the selfies were the same day, same outfit, just different. Like, but she told me what she was thinking (laughs) every photo she took. If she's turning, she was like, see, I was inquisitive about the uh, economic downturn in Sudan. I'm like, what? No, you're not. You were talking about, oh, this is going to make my nose look smaller. This is going to make my lips look bigger and all this dumb shit. And then I I think after the 20th one, I was like, I was like, Gabby, um, can we do something else? Do you want to stop right now oh, or something? Oh, don't do that. Shit. So, no, I, I remember like trying to be, make like a joke like, <laughs> wow, you really think a lot about yourself, right? Um May, let's go, you know, hang out with my friend some more. And she's like, oh, okay, yeah, but uh, in a little bit. And then I think five more photos. And I was like, okay, look, I, it's, this is still the same selfie. And it's been like 30 minutes. It's still the same selfie. And I just remember like, does, so, does, do so many people, well, this is, an, I'm going way off of what I was going to talk about. But af- after that happened, clearly I never saw this girl again. Yeah. Uh, no, that's actually not, that's actually not true now that I think about it. But okay. anyway, uh, it took a second, but I just remember well, like, you should have learned your lesson. I know. Well, I mean, she didn't stick around the second time very often oh, or okay, for sorry. very long, but I just remember going, does she have any, does she give a shit about me at all? Because she never said, Hey, let's go through your photos <laughs> or Hey, um, what do you, what do you think? She would just go, this is me. This is me. This is me. And look, I get that you need to love yourself before you love anyone else, but my, yeah. God, if you love yourself and only love yourself, you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yeah. Also, I've been in a situation where I've talked to a girl and... I did kiss her that night. Oh, hell yep. yeah. And well, I, I did the whole... That's all that matters. Um, Whoa. Kind of the same, but different. I talked to a girl one time where she legitimately... All she talked about was her problems and her issues. Oh, and she never, ooh. she never cared about talking about me or what's going on with me. It was always like, "Woe is me." This is what's going on. And honestly, she was going through some stuff, mm-hmm. like some real, real stuff, mm-hmm. and it sucked for sure. And I was, I was like, "Hey, that's what you know. I want to be here for you. I want to be able to be um, something that you can go to and talk to." Um, but it was also like the very beginning of us talking and. Ooh. We didn't talk this, for too terribly long after that. Was this texting and phone or was this in person? Uh, texting, texting, phone call, like all that kind of stuff. And oh, I know who this dude, is. <laughs> it, it was rough. This and after a while, rough. what? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. A- after a little while, it was just like, okay, um, clearly you're not ready for it. Because I was like, dude, I need to be like, when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to I'm a giver, I enjoy um, taking everything that you have and I enjoy being a soundboard. I enjoy mm. like when you're uh, when you had a bad day or when you need to talk about something, I enjoy listening. Um, I feel like I'm a decent listener, uh, but I also on the same side of things, I need to be able to have the moment and the opportunity to tell you about my day. And, right? and yeah. And so when I got none of that, I was like, (laughs) you're an awesome person. You're clearly not ready. So I hope you figure your stuff out, stuff out. And yeah. 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 (laughs) Hey, sorry. (laughs) Is that her? (laughs) I'm cutting that. Don't worry. Right. Yeah. (laughs) Don't Please make sure you cut that out. Oh, this one. 40 minutes in. (laughs) Hey, let me. If you want to know what I said, like, <laughs> that's so bad. But anyway, all right. So for this part, I got to put my glasses on. All right. Because okay. I got to read what they say. 
and I brought the glasses out just so I can see. Hey, oh my God, Colton! Oh Jesus Christ! I'm sexier than you are. Definitely, what that's what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this part is Colton. Have you seen those ads on Facebook that are like specifically targeted for you? You go, oh, yeah. I was just thinking about. Yep. Oh, 100%. Fishing in the Ozarks. And they came up with fishing rods in the Ozarks. Well, yep. have you seen those t-shirts that say like, you know, the ones that you can customize with names and stuff like, yeah. um, my name is Colton and I'm ready to party or some shit like yeah. that. Well, have you ever seen some that are just a little bit too specific? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I've seen those where, um, like they say, uh, world's greatest... Papa, world's greatest peepock, or very specific to that person's, you know, about, like my dad is pops, so yeah. world's greatest. And so I've seen it like specific in that way, but not like, I don't know what. Uh, uh, how about one that's like world's greatest dad to three kids or something, you know, world's greatest yeah, dad maybe. to Steven or something, you know. So yeah. like, anyway, those are kind of examples of just some mild ones, right? So this first one is actually doesn't fit that very well but i mean it, oh. it's just a silly one so um there's a guy and a gal and they're they're actually um actually i like that helmet um they're standing next to each other they're taking a picture and um the guy's shirt says my <laughs> my beard is the only hair that should be between your legs right so he's basically uh, saying ladies clean shaven and let me and let yeah. me go down on you, right? Oh. And then her shirt says, place beard here with a... If you didn't know where she's talking about, she got an arrow Gosh. going down to there. Come on. Those kind of shirts are so super cringy. cringy. Oh, so cringe. And look how happy they are. Also, look at his hair. Actually, pretty good hair. Um, But, yeah, dude, douche. what a douchebag. Hey, nice chain wallet, you idiot. Actually, I get it. He's a he's a motorcycle. This is my but... relationship goal. Oh God, who? Oh. What? Yeah, f off. Okay. So anyway, we'll skip through that one real quick. Don't read that yet. All right. Um. So this one, this is the one that got is that started it all, right? So I was on Instagram, yeah. and this one Too came specific. up for me. This makes no make sense. sense. And the shirt says it was an Instagram ad, and it said. On the front of the shirt, there's a picture of bowling pins, a bowling ball, and a moon, I think. I don't even... Yeah. Is it a moon? Yeah. And it says at the top, never us, <laughs> never underestimate an old man at the top. Then below the bowling ball, bowling pins, and moon, it says, with bowling skills, who was born in November. <laughs> Very specific. Who was like, born in November. Like, I'm not an old man. Well, I'm getting there. Um, bowling skills. I mean, I guess I'm okay at Wii bowling. I wasn't even born in November. Was your dad born in November? Okay, man. We're not talking. Okay. Um, yes, he was, but I don't know how See, good he is See, that's why. Bowling. That's why. They knew your dad was born, and they're like, so for Father's Day, you should buy this for your dad. It wasn't Father's Day in July, and I for didn't, didn't talk. Mother's oh, Day, sorry. You should buy this for your dad. For my mom. <laughs> hey, mom, I know you're an old man, and you like bowling, and you were born in <laughs> February, but... <laughs> but yeah, so that one was one, and I was like, okay, well, I got to see if there's others. And then this shirt comes up. Now, this one, I still don't understand if this is a real thing. I don't think it It looks photoshopped. Okay, yeah. I mean, it could be like, you know, those T-shirt companies. That, like, you can make your own custom shirt that says, yeah. like, hello, whatever. Uh, school of 09. So this one, and I'm going to say this one without um, breathing in between. So, Colton. That's a lot. Are you ready? Yeah. I know you couldn't do this in one no. breath. But so at the very top, and it's a wall of text. So I'll do a TLDR in a little bit later. Too long, didn't read. Uh, uh, at, okay, so here we go. <clears throat> and this is me saying this. <laughs> yes. It's not really. It says, I am a proud girlfriend of a crazy boyfriend who was born in August. He may seem quiet and reserved, but he knows more than he says, thinks more than he speaks, and notices more than you realize. He loves me so much, and he's my best friend. If you mess with me, the beast in him will awake, and you'll never find your body. Yes, he bought me this shirt. Dude, what? By the Why? way, you... I botched it. F*** off. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. did I breathe? Yeah. Oh, I think... I'm doing it again. I am a proud girl. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I, yes, that... This... I googled overly... Uh, overly specific specific t-shirts and oh. this one came up and i think i fainted out of the, uh, how many of the cringes came to and me. yes he bought me this shirt dude if oh really I, okay that is one thing that drives me nuts so in the past 
I may have been a little jealous and a little protective and a little um, possessive of some of my girlfriends. Um, so, but I've now that makes me super cringe. Like I just so it anytime makes you cringe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I cringe when I see that kind of stuff, and so I. Uh, I don't know because I try to work on like, okay, I'm not going to be possessive of whoever my significant other is. Um, they can live their life and I don't, I don't own them. They're just an addition to my life. I, they're right. not mine. When people say like, she's mine or stuff like that. I'm like, you mm -hmm. don't own her. You guys are in a partnership together. You love each other and that's great, but you don't possess her. Yeah. She has her own free will, you know, that kind of stuff. So when I see that stuff, like there are some times where I'm on like Facebook and Instagram and I see uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, you know, she mine, all mine, mine. Uh, like all mine is bad. Uh, I get I get that if you're married and you love property that of. Oh, God. Have you seen? So I saw these two. That's not one that I've that I've looked up, but <sighs> there's um, this was like old people. So I get. They they have been married for like four thousand years, but yeah. one of them says, um, uh, <laughs> "Skeeter's wife," and then is on hers her jersey, and his says "Skeeter" or something. Yeah. So that's kind of cool, but I hate the ones that that's like I am with him, I am with her, or whatever. And they're pointing to each other. Yeah. I not want, a fan of that. I want to point a middle finger at him and go, "No one." gives a f about you guys hey at least you are with each other because no one else wants you <laughs> and then this one i found just to make fun of it like it's literally just making fun of the other ones and someone it's like a t uh tinder a tumblr post or some shit actually is tumblr a thing oh. a facebook or instagram thing and it says t-shirts and facebook ads be like yeah i'm a horny old man i was born in may i've passed 34 kidney stones i'm too old to fight too slow to run i'll shoot you and be done with it <laughs> <laughs> i just yep. remember seeing that one it's i was like yes yeah, like i've seen those overly specific t-shirts and i was like i want to do a segment about it so you know what colton glasses are you being put away and it's your turn daddy oh all right now i think that you're a little bit uh, of a hypocrite, okay? For sure. Because you were like, you know what? I will never say she mine. But I know for a fact when you were at this place, you looked at one and you went, no, she mine. No, I did not. <laughs> for sure did not. All right. This, this, this segment is called... Do you think that this was a good idea that Colton told this story? Uh, there's also a big chance that this is a fake story. It's not fake. It's not. So, um, <laughs> you know, what I was don't, fake? Dude, honestly, I, this is something that happened in my past. I don't care. And most people won't admit that they've gone to these places, but hey, yep. it happened. Uh, it was while I was in college. Who cares? <laughs> don't judge me or do judge me. Here we go. So I, um, back when I was in college, I worked at Brookshire's and I became really good friends with this guy. And, um, Want to make up a name on the spot? I can't even. Junior, I don't know. <laughs> it, that's not his real name. I just don't. so um, it is. It no, it's not. I promise. I know, but, um, I know what it is. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh well. Anyways, yeah, so Junior, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, we worked together, and uh, we got to be uh, super close. And he was dating this girl. They had been dating a while, and um, she had a kid. And he was super close with them and ended up um, proposing to her. Beautiful. Yeah. And so they were getting married and I was super shocked. But he was like, hey, dude, we're getting married in a couple months. You and I, huh? You guys? You said we're getting, never mind. It wasn't funny. Keep going. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hey guys, editing Drew here. I just want to take a look at the last interaction between Colt Teasy and me. I say this really hilarious thing about Colton and Junior actually being the ones getting married, but Colton, not so much amused. And for a split second, you can see Colton's face go from storytelling Colton to why in the hell do I let Drew have a mic, Colton? Now let's rewind those last few seconds and we'll give Colton's face a little zoomity boomity on the video, shall we? He was like, hey, dude, we're getting married in a couple months. You and I, huh? You guys? 
You said we're getting. Never mind. It wasn't funny. Keep going. Okay. So we we're getting married in a couple months, and I want you to be an usher in my wedding. And I was like, dude. I was like, we're not even that like close. We we're close when it comes to work and uh, stuff like that, but we hadn't even known each other that long. And so I was like, yeah, dude. Of course, I'd love to. And um, so was in uh yeah so got the stuff to be in his wedding all i needed was suspenders and a bow tie oh you looked handsome as hell and i have a I picture loved, of it and i'm posting it i loved it mm -hmm. uh and i was like hell yeah so anyways the um night before the wedding was the rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner mm -hmm. so uh they asked me to come to the rehearsal we went to the rehearsal i did my thing uh walked down <laughs> people whatever. yeah what what is the usher like i honestly i don't know you just walk down um older people like you just oh go and you walk them to their seats nice um like a piggyback mostly like like grandmothers and stuff like that ah um so i so i did that and then uh they had the rehearsal dinner and he was like hey so it's just going to be the people that are actually in the wedding that are going to go to the rehearsal dinner. And I was like, cool. Sick. Sounds good. Y'all have fun. And he was like, but after that, we're going to do the bachelor party. And I was like, you're doing the bachelor party the night before the wedding. Have you seen the hangover? And I was like, okay, it doesn't sound like a great idea, but Hey, whatever. Cool. Oh, so it's right. like, yeah. When, what time was the wedding? Uh, it was an afternoon wedding or evening wedding. So, oh, okay. We had, you know, we had time to recover. So, um, <laughs> He was like, all right, um, so we're going to be done at this time, but I'll hit you up and let you know when to um, join us. He said, we're meeting up at a strip club in Dallas. And I was like, come again. And then, what? and then we'll, what'd you say? And then we'll drive to the speed zone, right? <laughs> strip club? Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> at that point, I had never been to a strip club before. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I'm open to try new things i i want to experience life and all it has in store so hey so yeah let's go heck yeah so he hit me up and was like hey so we're gonna go ahead and meet up there and it's around like 10 30 mm -hmm. 10 10 30 11 w huh it's like 10 or 10 30 oh, 11. Oh, i don't oh, know oh. exactly when but so i met up there and there wasn't like a ton of cars in the parking lot wait that seems early 10 30 well 10 is 10 early for a strip club gold? I, I honestly Yeah, I didn't know, been. but yes, apparently it is. Cuz like, I walk I, in I know you're not supposed to go at lunchtime on Monday or something, but No, no, no. Uh, the best times to go is around 8 to 10. You get eggs and legs. So um <laughs> Did they that's such that a there? dad joke. Oh. I don't know. Uh um, Wait, wait, wait. What? Eggs and Anyways, so um <laughs> I go in and there's like no one really in there. Um there's a f uh, there's probably like 10 to 15 people on the lower level and then there's like an upper level so i walk in and i'm like and again i'd never been to a strip club before so i don't really know what's going so i walk in and I'm <laughs> yeah like, right you walk in they go go like, hey! hey so i walk in and i'm looking around and i'm like where are they and i hear my name colton yep I see i up, knew it i knew people knew you and it was my buddy and he was like he was up in <laughs> up in a VIP section, they had a roped off section for them oh, upstairs. Hell yeah. And I was like, okay. Wait, so walking in, were you like, uh, I uh, walking nervous? in, I was like, just what? like, I, I mean, I don't know how this night's going to go. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to stay here. Go buy a ticket. Um, I just, <laughs> I was so up in the air. I was so nervous about it all. Yeah. Um, and I just imagine it like you walk up to the window and you're like, hi, yeah, I'd like, uh, Two tickets for um, Casablanca, please. Stacy, um, <laughs> Stacy, and her Stacey, mom. Stacy, and can I do a uh, follow up uh, <laughs> with Diamond? <laughs> and uh, uh, how long are the sessions? Can right? can I can I supersize it? Two, two minutes. Two minutes. That seems like a long. I think time. that's all I need. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like a really long time. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not prostitution. It's just oh, it's just uh, strip clubs. They're just supposed to get naked. Um, Ew. So go in and I, I, so I meet him upstairs and he's got like bottles of Ciroc on the table. Oh, um, of course. So bunch of, a bunch of uh, vodka. Uh, he's got a bunch of beer out on the table. He was like, 
dude hey uh we got bottle service we got you know we got these bottles up here just drink whatever you want have a good time so we're having a good time tonight did they bring that in or did they buy it there i don't know i don't know if it, it may have been a place where you could bring alcohol but they were serving alcohol there oh, so okay. i don't know i don't think maybe you maybe they bought it and whatever yeah. so I, put I, it on the table here so um just to research i'll go to one mm -hmm. and i'll see if i can bring any bring yeah, yeah. In. so I'll let you guys know we we jump in or i, I go up there and uh start drinking and um i'm like dude it's like there's no one here is this is this like just not a hopping uh strip club and he was like oh no like things don't really go off until like midnight or one oh okay. and i was like yeah. oh shoot yeah. i was like i i literally have no idea what i'm in for right right uh, and in a more real sense i had no idea <laughs> what i was in for that night and so i i'm like Okay, well, hey, let's have a good time. So I start taking, uh, you know, taking yes, shots sir. and I'm drinking. We're passing around the bottle of Ciroc and, um, ew. And straight, there's no way you drank from it straight. No way. Oh, I did. Yeah, dude. When when I'm there to impress, when I'm trying to impress people and I don't want to look like a wuss, I will drink stuff without making a face. Mm -hmm. It may kill me inside, but I'm still gonna do it. So you're like, you're like yeah, that's good. One mm. of the details that's not really important, but it's also kind of important because like. I kind of it was it was fun, but um, I just so happened in this group um, to be the only white person there. Oh, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it was just <laughs> I, I don't know why that has to do with anything, but I just enjoyed it so much. I just felt like um, do you feel I so listened, cool, dude? <laughs> yeah, I felt like I feel like. Dude, black, black people, people are, are so, so much cool. cooler than yes, us. Yes, black people are so cool. And so I was just having a blast, and I was just chilling with everyone. And you know, the whole time they're playing, they're playing rap or hip hop, and you know that's that's my favorite kind of music. So I was I was in my comfort zone yeah. with also being way out of my comfort zone because <laughs> I'm like, dude, I've never been in a place like this. this is so strange so oh. <laughs> foreign so weird i thought you were gonna pull a switcher and go i'd never listen to rap but i plenty i was good in a strip club <laughs> no, no no so um then we have more people from the group join us later on midnight one and things are really starting to go off did any girls join y'all i mean not the dancers but like girls from the group or was it just uh, i think there may have been like one or two really uh, yeah, yeah i do i think um, I think so. I can't his, really remember. Did his fiance join? No, she did not. <laughs> so what about us? We so we start. Um, we're just chilling, and around midnight or one, it starts to get like, it starts to just go off. It's just like the, so a guy just straight up cuts open a cigar and starts rolling a blunt on the table, and I'm like whoa what's happening Dude, this what's is, going on this is gta all right um <laughs> okay so this is happening this is real um and so you he just starts rolling up and he, you know they're uh smoking they're passing it around having a good time um music's going crazy and all i could think about in this moment and at this point i had had a decent amount to drink and the lights are down low the music's going, um, you know, kind of strobe or whatever. Um, and there's smoke everywhere from people smoking a blunt and they're passing uh, bottles of Ciroc. And I'm like, this is a freaking rap music video, dude. <laughs> I've seen this rap yeah! music video. I've now seen this video it. and I'm now I'm living it. And I was like, dude, this is so, this is awesome. Were you like this whole time? You're like, I was just like, this is so strange. Um, so then I, um, you go back every, every weekend. No. So I, but I will say I, I, and I bought a, I bought a dance for my friend who was, uh, getting married, but I highly discourage, um, someone who wants a strong relationship and a strong marriage going to strip clubs or going to a strip club before your wedding night. I don't think that's a great way to kickstart your marriage. Um, <laughs> oh, what about during your marriage? Own. Is that cool? Yeah, probably not that oh. either. Oh, okay. uh, so 
Uh, what if yeah. I was in there asking for directions or something. I just stumbled I, upon that place and I was like, I don't know where I'm going. I guess I'll just hang out here. <laughs> I mean, teach your own. I, but if you're married, it's probably not a good idea. So, oh. um, that's awesome. Anyways, I love the. I'm in a rap video. <laughs> yeah, and just the fact that I was hanging out with. Did you say it to them? Like, oh yeah, guys, dude. I'm I was in like, uh, I'm. And I felt so like they just opened me, uh, like welcomed Whoa, me with oh. open arms, and um, it would, dude. It was just so much fun, and uh, but I will never go back again, and I'll never. It's it was fun, but it was also like, okay, I've done it once. Yeah. I'm not interested in this. Uh, I felt like slimy and grimy after it, and. Uh, didn't i was like yeah i'm not a fan of that kind of stuff dude what's yeah. crazy is on the opposite side of the spectrum i went to a church service once and i was like all right fine i did it once i feel slimy i feel grimy and i, I never want to do this again <laughs> yeah. dude i love that yeah. I wanna, oh I also go just to be um in a rap video this is probably too much information but um i was when i bought the dance for my buddy for this one girl or from this one girl um what was her name? he was already i don't know he was already getting a dance from someone else and so she was like well in the meantime while i'm waiting do you want to dance oh, and mama. i was like i was like no honestly like i'm good thank you but no and she was like oh come on and so like she oh, started yeah. to come like dancing on me <sighs> and um as she walked up on me she had bo that you wouldn't oh, believe and i was like God, no, no no seriously hey please. i appreciate it you're you're good like this would have been the time where you where you didn't have your sense of smell that would yeah. have been the time I, but i was like no i'm good thank I just, you I just, and i was <laughs> by the way at this time i was like super single so i i wouldn't i wouldn't ever i didn't ever think I would go to a strip club, period, but yeah. I wouldn't go in a relationship. Probably, hindsight, still probably not a great idea to go. I don't think those are places that are uh, really beneficial. Hey, you know. That's, but it was, hey, you, know what? you live and you learn. They gotta fun. they gotta make a living, too, you know? Sure. Crystal, Diamond, uh, Chandelier. Genevieve, yeah. Genevieve. Chandelier? Why is it always Chandelier? Anyway, <laughs> thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. That's Colt Teasy. I'm Drew Boldeasy. I don't know. I feel like that kind of flows off the tip. Yeah, the, that's a good one. Well, yeah. the top. But anyway, yeah. we are really random. And you know what? Last episode, we didn't get to do any of, that, any of this stuff because we wanted to get our message across, get our opinions ac across about how we can be serious. Yeah. And, I mean, not, not, that's not the only point we were trying to prove. But well, supporting our brothers and sisters. Yes, exactly. And thank you for not judging us too harshly. And if you did and if you unsubscribe, that's fine. Go yeah. Okay. And if you did subscribe, you can also go f yourself, but in a good way. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, sure. Anyway, Colton, we open in this. Here three, we go. Two, one. <laughs>